tonight we have the Lead Appreciation Night, uh, where we want to, we're inviting uh, fifth graders uh, from Lawrence Brook, Bowman Row, Memorial School, and Chittick. Um, tonight we just want to show appreciation and gratitude to these students who have completed a 10-week course. Uh, LEAD stands for Law Enforcement Against Drugs. Uh, it's a, a curriculum that's developed by the Mendez Foundation called Too Good for Drugs. Uh, the first five weeks is about character development, and the, the next five weeks, or the second five weeks rather, is about application. How do we apply the things that's learned um, in the first five weeks of the curriculum? But I really want to focus on the first three lessons, the first three weeks, because I think the first three weeks is really critical. Uh, so LEAD, again, the first five weeks is about character development character development. One of the first things that I teach the students is there's three character traits. There's three character traits that are very essential and very important in regards to them growing up to be successful men and women in society. Right? The three character traits is courage, self-discipline, and responsibility. Courage, self-discipline, and responsibility. And I feel that these character traits are very important in regards to them accomplishing whatever goals they may have in life. Right? Whatever goal they may have in life. That we can have in society, we can have a, uh, a student that's very good academically. They can excel in the classroom and have excellent grades. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to translate over to them being a person of good character. Right? So when we talk about too good for drugs, we're going to talk about alcohol, we're going to talk about tobacco, and we're going to talk about marijuana. Right? What keeps someone from making bad decisions? Well, prescription, right? You have certain symptoms. You go to the doctor, you tell them what symptoms you have. He gives you a note that's a legal document that says that you can get a prescription, right? And that prescription is just for who? Just for you, right? Are you, should you share that with someone else? No, right? So we learned about the difference between prescription medicines and over-the-counter medicines. Again, this is important, right? You want to make sure that these students know what they should or shouldn't be taking. Now, uh, this program is very important because, once again, um, in order for these students who are fifth graders, as they enter into middle school, junior high school, and then high school, they're going to be faced with peer pressure, they're going to be faced with adversity. In order for them to make the correct decisions, they need to have goals, they need to make good decisions, understand that the good decisions have positive consequences. They need to learn how to manage their emotions. They need to pick friends that have good qualities. Um, so it's important for them to understand um, what does it take to be a person of good character and surround yourselves with others that have good character? Sorry. Lesson three, four basic emotions. Happy, sad, angry, scared. And I speak to them all the time about their emotions. About their emotions, right? Our emotions affect our decisions. Our decisions affect our goals, right? You're saying it with me. That's good. Our emotions affect our decisions. And our decisions affect our goals. I say it all the time. Right? When you become an adult and you don't learn how to manage those emotions correctly, sometimes the consequences you can't recover from, or sometimes the consequences can change the trajectory of your life forever. Right? So that's important. If they learn how to manage their emotions now in the fifth grade and control that, it will help them when they're 15. It will help them when they're 25. It will help them when they're 35. Right? You don't learn some of these things automatically when you turn 25 or 30. Some of this stuff you need to learn now when you're in the fifth grade. But it's important for them to identify with who is a peer and what is peer pressure. What is peer pressure? And this goes back to the first five lessons. Because if they understand how to make good decisions, if they understand their consequences, if they understand friendship qualities, then they will understand how to avoid peer pressure or they will understand or how to recognize when peer pressure is in front of them. So we learned about a couple of exit strategies, right? To steer clear, reverse the pressure, you know, reverse the pressure. Someone says, listen, we're going to cheat on the, on the test. You go, no, I'm not going to cheat on the test, but how about next time we study and just reverse the pressure for them or something like that. Now, as most of these students know, first lesson is goals. But some of the things I'm going to say, they've already heard it, you know, but hopefully I can reiterate it. Goals is extremely important, right? So a goal can be in the next six months, I want to do 20 push-ups. Something they can work towards and build up to, right? That's the short term. Long term. For my son in particular, for your, for your child or your children, you know, he says he wants to be an engineer. You know, he needs to then apply himself now. He needs to learn how to read, how to do math, right? And it goes back to the character traits. Courage, self-discipline, responsibility. Lesson five, which I thought was really, really impactful, um, and I think is something, again, that's key and vital, is friendship qualities. Friendship qualities. I, again, growing up, with my mother and my grandmother in particular, you know, growing up in the inner city, my grandma used to say, listen, I don't want you hanging out with that boy. You know, I don't want you hanging out with that group of kids. Picking the right group of friends 
It's essential, it's vital. All right, if you wanna, if you wanna get good grades and go into college, you need to hang out with some other students that are on the same path, all right? The kids that are usually cutting up in school and getting in trouble, we all know who they are, all right? That's not necessarily healthy qualities. So we spoke about healthy qualities, unhealthy qualities. I remember reading a, a, a book about, um, about a gentleman that said one day he, he was going to go out with some friends and they were supposed to be going to the pizzeria and he was going to go partake in some drugs or whatever and he wasn't supposed to. Right? One of the friends said, hey man, let's just go play some video games or something instead. And he thinks back to that now and said, man, what would my life have been like maybe if I'd have tried that drug and got hooked on that drug? But instead, my friend told me to do something different. Right, he had a better idea. I just want to thank the teachers, uh, the faculty and staff, um, and administrators at each of the schools uh, for their cooperation and helping me to figure out in regards to scheduling. I want to thank also the students for their participation. Uh, those students that participated in the classroom setting, uh, the feedback um, was, it was impeccable. Also, those that actually diligently did their homework. I read each and every homework assignment. I'm seeing the input that the students gave I mean, responding to the classroom work that was discussed. Um, I also want to say that I appreciate the parents for helping uh, these students with the homework assignments. I know we all have busy lives, but it's important to invest time into our youth um, and to your children. I'm understanding that you will reap the reward in the future. But please spread the word. Uh, I, I do think it's important. Um, it's something that's close and dear to my heart. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.